Welcome to another chapter in the Road Choice Clutch Technical Training. I'm Justin and this particular program is about clutch installation. There's a lot to get right during a clutch install and that's why Road Choice put together a handy kit of the tools a mechanic needs to do an install that's easy, efficient, and accurate. The Road Choice Clutch Installation Toolkit includes a flywheel gauge, clutch alignment pins, a disc alignment shaft, shaft removal tool, and a clutch adjustment gauge. And learning how to use these tools will take the guesswork out of your next installation. So let's take a look at each one. The flywheel gauge is for measuring the flywheel after it's been resurfaced. It's designed to measure three dimensions and all three are important for ensuring proper clutch operation and longevity. Measurement one. You must have a minimum distance of 5 16 of an inch from the friction surface of the flywheel to the top of the bolt head that fastens the flywheel to the crankshaft. If the distance is less than 5 16 of an inch, you need a new flywheel. And here's why. If the dimension is less than 5 16 of an inch, the dampener of the clutch disc will hit the crank bolts and cause failure. Measurement two. Use the flywheel gauge to measure the clutch centering lip. The lip cannot be greater than 3 16 of an inch deep. The dimension increases as the flywheel is resurfaced, and if the lip measures more than 3 16 of an inch, the clutch will not bolt tightly to the flywheel. Quick note, for correct clutch operation on a 14 inch pot style flywheel, this dimension must be 2.937 inches. When resurfacing these flywheels, you must remove the same amount of material from the clutch mounting surface as you do from the friction surface to maintain that 2.937 inch distance. On pot style flywheels, the drive pins must be replaced with every clutch and there's a good reason for this. If they aren't replaced and made square, the center plate can bind up and that means trouble. So now that we've verified the flywheel is within specifications, let's move back to the toolkit to begin installation. In the toolkit are your clutch alignment pins. These pins assist in the installation of the clutch cover assembly to the flywheel. Install these pins in the top two clutch mounting bolts as you see here. The disc alignment shaft is a big help with proper alignment of the clutch disc and clutch assembly during installation. Simply place the alignment shaft in the pilot bearing, then Install the correct clutch disc oriented the proper way. Next, place the center plate in the flywheel housing making sure there's a lug between the two clutch alignment pins we put in earlier. Now I pre-installed that third pin to help us for demonstration purposes. Now you're going to install the remaining clutch disc again making sure it's oriented in the proper way. Finally, place the clutch cover assembly over the alignment shaft with the help of the alignment pins, position the center plate in the cover. Once the clutch is installed to the flywheel and the other mounting bolts are installed, remove the alignment pins and install the last two mounting bolts. Then tighten all mounting bolts per installation instructions. Now that the discs are all aligned and the caging fork or blocks have been removed, we need to remove the alignment shaft. Here's the tool to use and the best sequence to follow. Insert the T-handle shaft removal tool into the end of the alignment shaft and pull the shaft from the clutch assembly. So with the clutch assembled, we've got one more tool to help with proper adjustment. This special clutch adjustment gauge is included for measuring the distance between the clutch release bearing and the clutch brake, which should be half an inch. On a mechanical linkage, the distance between the clutch fork and the release bearing wear pads should be an eighth inch. These measurements are essential for optimum clutch operation. This toolkit was truly made with the mechanic in mind, and I encourage you to get familiar with these tools and use them for every clutch install you perform. Well, that's it for this chapter. Be sure to explore the other chapters in this clutch technical training series to make sure your clutch knowledge is up to date. 
You'll find all the parts information you need at roadchoice.com and you can always contact us directly with questions about what you've learned here. This is Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts and I'll see you next time.